Howdy everybody, this is Tyson with Fuel Systems Research and Development. Just wanted to show you a little rocket stove that I built here in my backyard to cook food on. You can roast over the top of it or set a pot up there um, and cook and cook with, you know, using a pan. Um, so, there's a, I'm doing this in an effort to get prepared for when, when or if crap hits the fan. This nation's going on a pretty big drop towards the gutter. And just, in my opinion, it's just a matter of time before things come tumbling down. So, I want to be prepared when that happens. As prepared as I can be, at least. So, this is one of my ways of getting prepared. I'm experimenting on different types of designs for rocket stoves. And we'll make adjustments uh, to see exactly what... I can do to make better improvements. I've seen a lot of videos out there um, and there's some pretty superb and awesome designs so I will be implementing a lot of what I've learned in there um, but this was my start at just the basic rocket stove. I know you've seen one from when I was camping but this is one that I wanted to design a little bit better put a little bit more into it so I'll walk through the design a bit so down here got some debris in there but this is my air intake right down in here. If I can get in close, you can probably see a little better. There's a gap down there. And inside of there, I have a, a little riser, basically. It allows the uh, air to flow through underneath there and the wood to sit on top of this little metal tray that I have so that air can flow um, through to the wood. The wood's raised up off the ground on this, this grate that has holes in it so that air is always flowing through at the bottom underneath. Um, air will also come through the top here where the wood feed chamber is. Um, but I want most of the air to come through at the bottom because it works better that way. So once the air passes through there and the wood's on fire, it actually sucks the draft this direction and uh, it creates more heat in that chamber than you would in a traditional like wood-burning stove because that air flows through at a higher velocity um, which creates more heat. Um, so it allows your wood to burn a lot better and cleaner, more efficient, and requires less wood to get the same job done. Um, Eventually this whole mass of everything will heat up and it will stay warm for a long time But that's not the object of this. This is just for cooking purposes um, And to start doing a design and building on my own so I can eventually make a superb design as well Try different things. So this is the start of it um, This is the chimney portion and you can see how the draft, the uh, the flame burns through at an angle as it goes through that J tube, kinda, I guess you could say. Um, and then it'll burn and come out the chimney and it gets really hot in there. Um, it would be definitely sufficient enough to cook something on for sure. Uh, I designed this so that I can place a a little bit larger pot on there and cook food, but it'll still allow the the smoke to flow out of there. Um, Dad. You gotta make sure that this is pushed, this flame is pushed back a little bit, because if it's not, then it the draft doesn't work the way it's supposed to, so it's starting to die down a bit. But let's give it a little bit of air. Let's see if can see the effects as I blow in it. See, just that little bit of air gets it going really good again. Daddy. But, uh, hold on just a second, buddy boy, Kay. I'm done playing. I want to ride my dirt bike. Oh, you want to ride your dirt bike? Yeah. Not quite I big enough. I well, that's, uh, that's it, guys. Um, I will be building some designs out of metal um, and I will show the process the building process as I go and do those um, I'm gonna build a rocket mass heater in my house for the winter time 
to heat my my basement in the winter, and then I will be also building a uh, a metal rocket cook stove for pots and pans and to grill on, and then I will also be building a rocket oven. So, as I make those designs, I will definitely show you guys the details of everything and show you how well it works, so that if you decide to, you can do it yourself. Um, this is Tyson with Fuel, Fuel Systems Research and Development. Peace out.